Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we got another one of your guys' solar systems to check out. So, we've got one system from the user Savage Lando 25 to uh, have a look at today and their system is called the Enax system. So without further ado, let's hop straight into this. So, where are we? So let's go to Workshop. We've already got it installed, so let's go all the way down here. Here it is, okay. Good, good. Right, let's see what we got. Save on the object you want. Planet number six, you must have flashlight view on. Okay, right. Looks like he's got, like, the larger uh, scales on everything, which is pretty cool. Or do we? Maybe we're just all close to a red dwarf. So, interesting. Right. Star itself. Definitely a red dwarf. Very, very small, as we can see here. 100 Jupiter's mass only. So, very, very small. 1.24 in radius. So, I mean, not a large object whatsoever. If we compare it to Jupiter... There you go. So very, very small. I mean, look, Saturn will give it a run for its money. It's not that large. All right. There we are. Okay. So first of the planets. So we have got on orbit mode. So we've got this one here. Dentesi T. Oh, quite a nice uh, looking world there. Obviously, the red of the star will tint the planet a little bit. So if you want to have a look at it with uh, normal lighting, that's what it would look like. But the red dwarf also makes it look a little different. So there's that. Next planet out, we've got C Mercury here. Okay. So, a very, very uh, greyed out, dark version of Mercury. Okay. Looking good. Moving on, we have got Poltust over here. Very, very small. Okay. Looking good. Oh, I say small, so almost an Earth in size. Actually, got some, uh, some Earth like looks to it. So down here on the stats 97 and 66 so there's your live planet in this system uh, next up we have got Rorata over here looking oh okay well, made of a lot of iron but there it is so another earthy looking world checking the stats 33 and 8 so nowhere near as good as the last one then next up we got this purple one Ornasai over here Another Earth like world, okay. Look at this, that's nice, 267. So, another good spot for it there. Looking good. Very close. These planets are very, very close to each other as well, I might add. Look, you can see them all in the distance. There's that big red one there. We'll have a look at that in a minute. Okay, cool. Next up, we've got Blue Deluxe. So, what's this all about? Okay. Whoa, okay. So, let's have a go look on a uh, studio. There it is, that's better. So. As it's in the name, Blue Deluxe, very, very uh, load of blue and black bands in there, actually. Okay, nice. And then next up, we've got Nightmare Deluxe. So is this... Uh... Ah, okay. Ah, okay. Looking good. Uh, studio. So there it is. Looking good. So very, very uh, dark red and spooky. You know what? I think, I think, I think we need to add that. <laughs> So there we go. I mean, I got to add it to my other sort of deluxe group. I mean, why not? I mean, look, if we go here, fire, maybe nightmare look added there somewhere. But that's cool. I like it. So very, very red and dark. Looking good. It's a good looking world. All right, next up, we have got Io. Well, it looks like it may be an Io at one point, but not anymore. So this one is just a very funky uh, shade of colours here. So if we go to realistic, there's that one. All right. And then we got some, uh, are these just like dwarf planets, asteroids, your chin on the outside by the looks of things. Okay, nice. And I believe that's everything for the Enac system, so there we go, okay. Interesting stuff, but what film I want to try? Let's have a little bit of simulation speed, actually, this will probably run, so let's see how this plays. So, looking good. It's nice to have a simulation that we can run, so, looking good. Very, very nice indeed, okay, cool. And you know what, since this was quite a quick system, we might as well throw in a second system for today's episode as well. So that's all of that system. So, yeah, massive thank you to Savage Lando 25 for sending us that. But, yeah, we'll check out one more simulation today, which was submitted, which was underneath it. Luckily, it's one we could just install, so we'll throw that in. It's called Earth's Doom. So, so we've, done, we've done Savage Lando's one. Okay, so this one is from Saturnian Guy. Earth's Doom. Please check if it works. Okay, well... We've got enough time for another one this episode, so let's go ahead and see what we got. And oh, it looks like one of the orbits here got a little upset. Oh, dearie me. I mean, those gas giants must be causing some serious problems here, but so let's go a little insane. You can see that this would eventually break. I reckon those gas giants are too close together to really keep this in bay. 
But yeah, there it is. Anyways, moving on. So we'll go to the uh, next simulation. It's called Earth's Doom. So, where are we? Um, it should be in here. Where? Where is it? It's definitely in here, isn't it? Um, oi, well, where's, our, where's our simulation? Earth's Doom. Box. Yes, in there. Simulations. Let's just search it, see if we can find it. Oh. Can't find it. Uh, I just want to go to... I just want to search it in my own sims. Uh, oh, it's so laggy, the game. God. Uh, yeah, I can't find it. So I don't know what's up with that. Oh, no, no, there it is. Okay, I don't know why that was not searching it, but there it is. Okay, right, so what is this? Okay, so are we in orbit of the sun, or...? So what exactly? There's no description for this. Earth... Oh, I see what he's done. He's added all the moons around. Oh! Okay, so we've got a simulation we can actually play and have some fun with then. Okay, that's always... That's always a different... That's a nice change. So, that's looking good. Right. So, without further ado, we'll have a little play. I think Earth's roof limit will probably tear some of these up, so he's added a... Whoa, oh my god, okay. <laughs> so they just added a bunch of random dwarf planets, moons in here. Got a ring system as well. Okay, let's have a look and see what unfolds here. So, this isn't going to end well, is it? Okay, a little faster than that. Okay, there we go. So, Rouge Limit, I'm sure we'll see some problems start to uh, unfold here. I mean, most of the action is going to be in that area, but I mean, I doubt this is going to last so long. I mean, Titan and Ganymede being that close, Europa in the mix as well, and Io. There's no way. And they can already see Europa, Ganymede have already had an interaction. It looks like Roosh Limit and Ganymede may have started to tear Europa up a bit. Not looking good there. They've both had uh, problems now. We've got Titan flying by in the mix as well. That's going to cause more issues. But they are dangerously close, a lot of these. I mean, look at Titan just flying by Europa there. I mean, that's that's crazy. You've got uh, Ganymede and Io having an interaction as well. That's bringing Io closer into the mix too. Oh, this is this is not going to end well. So let's uh, keep things going. Go on, uh, there we go. That's better. So focus on Demos. They'll be fine. They're, they're nice and close. They're not near anything. So they can't get torn up by Rouge Limit. They're already too small at the moment. Oh, Ganymede and Europa. A huge collision there. Ganymede has been absolutely decimated by Europa smashing into it there. Direct impact. <laughs> Damn. So Ganymede taking a huge pound there. It looks like we've got another IO almost had a crack at it as well. Let's get all those materials. But Ganymede is just shooting out stuff everywhere. So that's not looking particularly good, is it? Titan and Ganymede, the two Titans at the moons as well. They're getting a little close to brawling. They are getting, ooh. Whew. Okay. Let's keep things running. Titan, Ganymede, oh man. That's insane. Earth, on the other hand, it's called Earth's Doom, but Earth actually hasn't had any problems yet. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure tidal forces in reality would cause some problems, but I mean, the planet itself is in one piece, so it hasn't lost anything yet. So Tyson and Ganymede, that's the two that are going to have an interaction at some point. They're Golu. So their orbits are a little bizarre, but I think that's probably the way we're going to see them come together here. Oh, Ganymede is on a ridiculously bad orbit now. Look at that. That's not looking good for Ganymede at all. I mean, look, it's got a huge... Imp look at the impact on that. Look at that crater. That's massive. Look at that. <laughs> oh, God. So we could see... Uh, it could upset Phobos and Deos's orbits there. Mimas is in there as well. But my guess is Earth's Roosh Limit could start to upset Ganymede too. So we'll have to see. I mean, its orbit still flies very close to Titan. So it all just depends on when they get in the correct position. Oh, oh it's like uh, Phobos just got destroyed. It either hit the Earth or went somewhere else. But that's not ended too well. There's Titan flying by. Ganymede and Titan. Ooh, oh, ridiculously close. Right. There's Mimas again. I reckon Ganymede could just eat up one of those uh, Mars' moons. Let's uh, keep it running. Titan and Ganymede, though, they are just getting so close to doing something. They are, look at that. They're getting so close. They just can't seem to get in the right spot at the right time. I mean, that's crazy how this managed to run this long. We've existed for over 1.9 months now. <laughs> oh, Titan. Oh, that's not looking good. Oh. Oh, I paused it at the exact right time. 
So, that's the end of that. Or is it? They may have slided into each other. Are they actually going to engulf each other? Titan versus Ganymede. I think Ganymede's at it. I think Titan managed to... Oh! Oh! <laughs> right. Ganymede must have lost its mass in the collision with Europa, so Titan was large enough to destroy it. Interesting. We see Earth's going to have a lot of material heading towards it, but Titan has destroyed Ganymede and therefore lost its own mass as well. Phobos and Deimos, or Deimos has been launched out, but there we are. Okay. Like we let time run. In theory, that's it. The other moons are too far out for any problems to happen, so... I think Earth, and the Earth has actually survived in one. Nothing even hit Earth. So... I think the tidal on this one may be a bit misleading. Earth has stayed perfectly in one piece for the time being. I mean, you can see all these. The, a lot of those moons have just been ejected, to be honest. So, yeah. And now, now Tyson and Ganymede are gone. There's not really any large moons to cause any problems anymore. I mean, look, you've got Callisto. That's not really a problem. It's one moon. The Titan has been reduced to nothing, so it's lost its size. So, not really anything going on. And the only thing that's happened is Earth's freezing because there's no sun in here. So, yeah. There you go. That does it for that. So, I don't see anything else happening on that. I mean, we can go at... Yeah, that, that's fine. There's nothing, nothing else is happening there. You can see Rhea's flying by as well. But the orbits will change a bit. But, I mean, Earth itself is perfectly fine. So, there we are. That does it for this... Uh, well, I say solar system. does it for this simulation. So, there we are, guys. So, that does it for today's episode of checking out your guys' simulations. And more than systems, I guess. Um, so, that was the uh, first one was from Savage Lando. And the second one was from Saturnian, guys. So, massive thank you to both of them for sending in their systems. But with that all said and going, guys, make sure you have a great day out there. Make sure to subscribe for more helps on the journey to 24,000 subscribers. And, yeah, make sure you have a great day. Stay safe. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.